Guys, I'm home. I have new messages. Memento. Shepard, I have Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. It doesn't go with the new decor I have planned for Afterlife. Cool. I didn't want it. Commander? I guess no one has any comments on me doing this random DLC and going off to the middle of nowhere for the past, like, you know, 10 hours. Nope. Commander? Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Don't. Joker, that's weird. Don't call her Mom. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Commander. Alright. Yeah, no. Basically, that DLC just didn't happen then. <laughs> awesome. I mean, it did happen, but... No one's gonna take note of it. That is how it was written. I won't agree, but I won't disagree. So did I get anything new here, or is that actually just nothing? Ah, there we go. Izo Omega or Omega Izo Horde. 300. As promised, Arya has started transporting her Izo supplies to the Alliance. Though the initial delivery was somewhat hampered by Alliance security's unease in dealing with a group that most think of as space pirates, the transfer of resources is now ongoing. To facilitate the process, a new freight company under the Omega flag has been founded. The Omega Coalition of Cargo Transporters is a ragtag group that is nonetheless proven to be unerringly successful in both the swiftness of their deliveries and the security of its cargo. Cool. An Omega Raiding Fleet. Though comprised of a disparate range of ships, the Omega Rum Fleet has proven itself to the Alliance in every way that counts. The first engagement occurred during orientation when the Alliance ships they were meeting were overwhelmed by a Reaper attack. Rum was told to avoid the rendezvous point, but they instead followed Fusion, their flagship, straight into combat to save the doomed ships. The Alliance ships were saved, and Rum, recklessly led by a cheerfully ruthless Captain Jeral, has since been detailed into the most troubled Reaper fronts and each time has helped turn the tide. Rum landing parties also have a sterling, if somewhat bloodthirsty, reputation, particularly when up against Cerberus Phantoms. Nice. That's the kind of, you know, power we need to take them out. First fleet got updated. Uh, thanks to Arya's hacker, Cerberus filed lo uh, located in General Protector's Afterlife Headquarters, retrieved mostly intact. Hey, so we still got stuff out of it, even though I killed him. I do not care. Uh, the encryption ciphers are complex, but Arya has her top technicians scraping the data for anything that may be of use to the Alliance. Key intel on Cerberus activities in Alliance theaters has already been found, providing the forces, the fighting forces, no, providing the forces fighting in those areas a tactical edge. In more heavily encrypted files, valuable threads are emerging that could uncover top secret service operations. That was probably a better bonus if I didn't kill him, but bonus is a bonus. Sorry, Six Fleet also got a bonus. Oh, that's from the library of Asha that I found a while back. All right, look at that. This bar is big. I think I'm doing well. Anyone have anything to say? No? Okay. Uh, I guess all that's left is to go check in on Tally and the Quarians next. That should be fun. Commander. Yes. Uh, unless anyone else has something to something, uh, unless anyone else has something to say, I wish the words would come out of my mouth the way they came out of my head. Anybody in the lounge? Nobody's in the lounge, because nothing major technically happened. It was all a weird dream that no one remembers. Oh, hi. Hey, Shepard. Okay. Oh, did I get any Shadow Broker updates or upgrades while I was there? Greetings, Commander. Hello. No. New files? No. Hello again. Okay. Garrus? Anything? Or are we at, at a total impasse of new things to do on the ship? So who needs their ass kicked now? Who doesn't? So who needs their ass kicked now? Like how everyone else is like, hello, and Garrus is like, what's next? Do 
Doc? Hello, Commander. Hello. Oh, you know what? I did see that. I got Flare and I got Lash. Oh, but I didn't get Nyrene's Bubble. Which I guess would be hard to use as a playable character anyway. It was hard to use as a NPC. Uh, I kind of want Lash though. Because that looked really cool. I know I spent everything on warp ammo. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. But Lash seems really cool. But warp ammo is also, you know, just generally useful. DLC man, you have anything to say about the DLC? How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. I don't want to hear that, Mr. Four Eyes. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. <laughs> I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Listen, it's in his name. He's Joker. Commander. Prothe the Prothean. Joker, that's really bad, though. Just. Like. You want to be going around? Have you ever seen the recording? Oh, boy. Mother, oh, Matriarch boy. Benezia? Yes. What about her? Remember Samara, the Asari Justica? Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Where are you going with Have this, you Kenneth? that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample. Do you think they just keep growing? Kenneth! I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. Yeah, you deserve that one. I... I mean... Astute observation, but... Um... Calm down. Commander. All propulsion systems are running optimally. Nothing to report, Commander. Good. I suppose there's no news because you don't report on the DLC. Do you all war reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. That sounds accurate. <laughs> huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Yeah, you got the better gig. You have less chance of getting shot down. That's not true. The first moment you got shot down. You're screwed. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you hard. Doesn't make you a better crewman. Makes you a better fight this kind of war. person? Hard I don't burn, know. Maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Indeed. Is everything okay, Shepard? Yeah, all good. I don't suppose there's anything new out here. Actually, does Harrit have his thing out here? No. Apparently those are gone. Oh, no, but they show up here. Okay. That's neat, too, then. Uh, Reckoner Knight? No. Serta has nothing new. Casa has nothing new. Agor, nothing new. New Spectre guns? Chakram launcher. Two. Oh, I can buy the upgrades. Interesting. Ooh, give me that. But yeah, no, I'm not going to actually buy them. Super teen. Nothing new. Elkos Combine. Nah. Upgrades. I should get them out of, up to five if I ever go back to it. Uh, I mean, my spike thrower is five. My paladin is five. So I don't think I can 
pump them anymore, can I? Yeah, I think they cap out at five. I did want to try not not the truck and laundry. Which one was the one I wanted to actually try out that I picked up? Um I don't remember. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Do you hear that hum? Yes. Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? All right. Is that just me? I suppose let's go check on the quarians then. Because there is nothing else to be said. Yep, no green lights. Commander. Nothing new. Let us go then. I am out by the citadel again. That's out in the far rim. Let's go say hi. It's been far too long, actually. Haystrom, that's right. How's Haystrom doing? Formerly a Quarian colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan, the system star, uh, planet star. Dolan appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was soon lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space stations ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of, of treating Dolan as a threat uh, over the past three centuries beyond establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overall most nearby communications and is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today, spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes, uh, spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on Geth mining, refining, and fabrication practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that Geth have not exploited all their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Also, the sun is burning the planet. This sun has dark energy problems. Can I find anything? No, this is a story zone, therefore there's nothing to ping. Alright, let's go speak with the Quarians. Tally, are you here? This diplomat frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy. Tally, do you steal our tech? Because Tally's the only Quarian who's been on. Commander Shepard. Hey, Admiral Ron. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. Yeah, I'm sure. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision Gero. strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Why, though? Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council There's to avoid chorus. provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is and nothing Zen. compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Explain. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. Good job. After we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. I mean, they became sapient. It, it kind of is murder at that point. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. But it happened. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. You don't like that, do you? Don't that truth? Bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You probably shouldn't have invaded. You're throwing yourselves at the gate. Especially because the Reapers are here. Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Ah. Uh. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. 
We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth dreadnought. Cool. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. All right, big beetles. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Because I have to yes. do everything. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And let you get out of there before things get worse. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? Probably. We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Yeah. Hey, girl. Shepard. You became an admiral? Kelly. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. So, admiral, huh? Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. Yeah, at this point, you you better be. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I am so glad you are here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped. Thanks, but I knew you had your own problems. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Sounds good to me. However much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. All right, let's change that subject. Take a straight left turn to that one. And what about us? Would us being together divide the fleet? No. Well, possibly. I, I, I don't know. But right now, I've got civilian ships taking fire. Can we keep this quiet? At least in front of the admirals? Fine. Sure thing, Miss Vos Normandy. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to talk in private, maybe you could invite me up to your cabin? On it. Maybe I could. I'll see you up there. You know where it is. And for the record, still totally worth it. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Amazing. I guess I have to go hit a Geth Dreadnought somewhere. Codex for Tally. Ah, and the Perseus Vale, huh? I suppose if I go around the things, they won't like it. What? Why is there another one here? The Migrant Fleet. Oh, the fleet's right there! Can I land? No. A flotilla of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million quarians, the Migrant Fleet is the largest array of spacefaring ve vessels in the known galaxy. It is a testament to the quarian's strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during recent battles. The fleet is now on the far side of the star from Ranok, the better to cloak its movement from the Geth. And then, Geth Debris Field. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of Geth satellite, uh, Statites, satellites that use their solar sails to self-correct the position. The Geth place the ultra-lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranged in a vast array known as a Dyson bubble. Scattered among them are the space stations and servers that draw power from the statites through wireless energy transfer. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails have also been destroyed. It appears the Quarians began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Hooray, one's on violence. Alright, let's go disable this dreadnought. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Ranok reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by the time and raw materials. The damage inflicted, inflicted by the Quarren Fleet appears minor at best. Well, let's go hit some buttons. Tally's automatically in. And... What do I want for this? You know what? Let's run with Liara. Have Tally and Liara. 
You still have your shotgun. What shotgun do you want? I personally really like the spike thrower. I don't know if that's great for you, but I like it. So, I'll have you run with it. I can put the super barrel on it. Yeah, this one. Let's see, increases damage uh, by 25% compared to 22.5. So it actually doesn't go past 25, it looks like, even though it's level 5. But it does have piercing, which is nice. It also means I don't know what else to put on there for her. Because Smart Choke is just accuracy, and that doesn't matter for non-playables. I don't know if a bandit's gonna help. It already has piercing, so I don't know if that'll double up on it. Number of shots doesn't matter. Weight doesn't matter. I'll just have you put the blade on it, because it's cool. How's that? As for pistol, let me tell you, I love this thing. I also have the super barrel on it. And... I guess... You can use powers, so I'll have it boost. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to take this piercing and put the power booster on this for you. What? This one doesn't get the stupid attachment on top? It just changes the color? I feel so... Uh, it doesn't even do anything, actually. I feel so robbed. Also, you're going to the super barrel. There we go. SMG. Do I have a super barrel for this, or is that... Yeah, it doesn't come with it. And then... Power booster. Alright. Hey, you guys. I have a whole bunch of levels to give you. I even have a level to give me. Speed reduction or cryo explosion. Increased damage to chilled and frozen targets. Oh, give me that. You have 14 points. Let's get warp just done. Expose and pierce. Get your warp ammo up. Actually, do you have team warp ammo? You do. Uh, we'll go with capacity for. Oh, never mind. I don't have the points for it. Never mind. Tally, you have all the points. Let's go with your passive all the way to the top. Let's see, recharge speed or health and shields. Health and shields. Weapon damage or tech power. Tech power. Squad bonus or drone special. Ooh, increased recharge speed of drone powers or increased recharge speed of squad mates tech powers. I mean, I'd have to put you alongside the other tech units, so let's just go drone specialist. You have two drones. You have a combat drone and a defense drone. Alright, energy drain. Sabotage. Sabotage is back. Sabotage weapons and hack synthetics. Ah, this is AI hacking. Just renamed so it can work on non-AI enemies. Get that to three. Weird that sabotage has an impact radius. Combat drone. Deploy this attack drone to stun targets and draw enemy fire. Cool. Defense drone. Deploy this holographic drone to execute enemies within its firing range. Oh, so does it not like does it not go far away from you and it just stands there to protect you? Still, you can have two drones out. That's cool. Let's see, energy drain, more damage or more radius damage. Uh, more shield or faster recharge? More shield. More damage or boosted armor? Reduced damage taken uh, by 40% for 13 seconds, gaining temporary layer of armor, draining shield, bears. Oh, that's cool. More defense. Sabotage. Uh, duration or backfire? Increased damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. Ah, so you so it inflicts a, a dot. Cool. Explosive hacks and that is explode when destroyed, dealing big boom. I'll go back to the other one. Combat drone, shields and damage, or detonate. Ah, so it explodes or it 
can survive better. So, longer uptime or faster re-up. Or not even faster re-up, but explosive. Uh, make it go boom. Shock, upgrade drone, short range attack, deal damage, and stuns enemies, or has better shielding. Stun. And defense drone, duration or range. Uh, what's the duration in the first place? Doesn't even tell me. We'll go with range. Make it reach further. All right. We all ready? I mean, Liara can't use her last three points, but I think we're ready. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Oh, I have to use this helmet because I'm going Pretty into space. Much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Here we go. Let's go! Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Why that one specifically? Oh good, this is going amazingly already. Right, I guess they were in the middle of things, huh? My cyber warfare suite has accessed their dumping protocols. So we just gotta get in there, right? And they can't see us because they don't have windows. Geth do not need windows. All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. We couldn't ask for a better expert. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Oh, I did bring her Speaking along for of that. Which, I see a lot of things in my new position. Oh, good. See anything interesting? Relic technology interface, radiation diagnostics, omni tool upgrade, all authorized by Project Haystrom. Hey, where'd you get? Nutriscan 2.2, Engine Master 3.6. Oh no. Human Vessels Edition. Nerve Stim Pro. Oh no. Let's go hit that dreadnought. Whenever you're ready. Liara, that was a low blow. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. You know, I kind of expected the catfight didn't begin, but I didn't think it'd be that fast. Can I go around this? I can! Oh, this is so weird. Did I really have to come alone for this? No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. What now? What am I looking at next? Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Man, this feels like a different sort of game with the spinning around the tube and just all of this. Wait, I gotta see. Okay, yeah, everything is spinning around outside. I was like, is it just the tube spinning or is am I actually like How are you doing, Shepard? flipping around? And the lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Get don't use windows, remember? <laughs> Structural weakness. Even I brought that up. Just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we brought that back joke. That was a sentence I made. I'm glad I brought the joke back and then they did too. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm having traumatic flashbacks to getting spaced. 
Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. I'd rather not. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Get my warp ammo going. Why do I have to reapply this every time but my tech armor stays on? It's not like I change weapons. I mean, I guess I can change weapons, but still, you know? Alright, what hidden goodies can I find on this ship? Gotta be plenty, right? Aha, see? Smart choke. Didn't need it, but I got it. So nothing's coming at me yet. I was... You don't need to make up for it. Alright, it's fine. Shove my face in this door a little bit. Guys, I know Legion. We don't have to fight, you know. Man, it's been a while since I've... I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Oh, that was an override. That was just... Okay. Oh, is the console up there? Is that where I need to be? That makes a bit more sense. Upgrades? Guns? Alright, well... Get in here. Come help me, you two. Got it. You're clear to board. So are we gonna get more of that sweet banter? Between you two? Are you alright, Shepard? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Please do. In the meantime, take a look at this. Ooh, what is this? There, it's open. We're clear to go. Arc pistol? An innovation of Admiral uh, Darrow Zen, the arc pistol is a scaled-down arc projector that only requires thermal clips to solve its power problems. The arc pistol uses a non-visible laser to ionize the air and create a path for high ampere electric shock. For more damage, and blast, it can be charged up. <gasps> Charge lightning pistol. All right, fine. I can't put my stuff on. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that destroys. So where are we headed? Oops. We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. This I didn't try. And we'll back on. Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. God, fence. Always the fence. <laughs> you did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire. Yeah, but you're fine. Their anti-fighter lasers use ultraviolet frequencies. Most ships use infrared. Well, they can Expensive. see it. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. You okay? I will be. Thanks. I have to try out this gun. It's not upgraded though, so it's gonna be... Not quite as strong as I'd like, I'm sure. But I do like charging Watch up out. weapons. Yes, oh boy. Ow. I'm not even using the gun. Oh, jeez. That turns up pretty quick. I think I'm charging it up fully. That is not a bad charge time. 
I don't hear an alarm. And I can rapid fire if I really want to. Oh, well. It's okay, I got a second one. Oh, we got zapped and duck. Alright, I'm quite liking this. The Paladin is definitely more of a, like, hefty punch in terms of feel, but this is not bad either. Okay, well... They're throwing their lives away! Network intelligence! As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive! Disable their shield! Just don't give them a chance to recharge! I do need to level up this pistol though, because it does not feel like it has enough punch. Oh yeah, I guess instead of Overload, Tally has Energy Drain now, which is quite nice. Functionally similar, I guess, but it also gives her shields back. What? Did I find a mine? Is that what I just ran over? I have no idea what just happened. I think I had a landmine. Look, the signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely Arcan under control. I transmitted what data we had to a few code breakers. I haven't heard anything back. Sensor data, can you tell how the Quarian ships are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Oh. I won't let you down, Tally. All right. Oh, more data. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Geth pulse rifle. Oh, this is the assault rifle back from the first game, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that thing! Geth Pulse Rifles are comparable to a standard stock assault rifle, but finely balanced with low recoil and incredibly high accuracy. Pulse Rifle fires a rapid stream of lightweight slugs, which are wrapped in phasic envelope to increase their damage. Cool, I don't want it though. Also, it's really heavy. Also, this is really heavy. It's a good thing I have my, my dual cast ability, because otherwise I would not be casting as fast. I still want to keep using this though. Wait, it has... The mods on it though. Huh, I wonder if the barrel is making it super extra heavy. I should swap it out for the regular one then. What's behind this door? Operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Oh, what? Who's fighting in here? Who else is fighting in here? What are you? Oh, you're stuck. The hunters are moving in. The hunter is down. Okay, my shotgun still works though. When the pistol is okay, the shotgun is still amazing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get blown up. Oh, there? That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. I sure hope so. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. It's connected to all networked GAF everywhere. I just want to run. I just want to run! Stop sticking to everything. I just want to sprint. That one was on purpose, though. 
hey, uh, they are in fact deploying mines. So, I found it. We need to hurry. My people are getting torn apart out there. Right, sorry. I just, you know, upgrades. Like this, see? Damn it, they've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There, the Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Drive core? Right, but how do we get there? The Get have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Get still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. Well, there's a door there's over here, right? high level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile death on the other side of the doors. All right, here we go. It was that door. I was heading over there. They're dropping down from the ceiling. Oh, that too. There could be cloak hunters as well. I mean, if they come close enough, I'll just blast them. They'll also just blast me, apparently. Oops. Yeah, that was on me. I rushed in there. There could be cloak hunters as well. This Watch overload out. does Another a way. good amount of damage against them. Hey there. How you doing? I missed. All right, that was bad of me. Did I just get sniped? Why did you not get stunned by that? I hit the wall. I hit the ground. I missed. There we go. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Working on it. Actually, I need more ammo. There we go. Well, that's not a full. That's not topping me off. That's nah, fine. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Different species have different aesthetic tastes, but I agree. This design is alien. It's amazing to think that the Geth can load their intelligence directly into the ship. They could be all around us. Oh, For that's all creepy. all cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Couldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. Are we just flirting it's here now? to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. Shepard and Tally became physically intimate during their fight against the Collector. Edie, please. Thank you for the clarification, Edie. <laughs> and Liara's like, I know, I hate it. Stop. Awesome. Survivors? They got to escape pods, and I've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. I guess I gotta move, better move uh, a little bit faster, huh? These doors take forever to open, though. You think they'd uh, open a bit faster?
Oh, this looks familiar. This is similar to the room where I had to defend, uh, in Legion's... Whoa! Legion's mission. No! I see you. You may be invisible, but not to me. They're overhead as well. There they go. The fact that my shotgun reaches as far is just wonderful. Where are you going? Oh, he dodged it. the other guy. It works. What if the guy was over here bothering me? Where'd he go? I like this gun. I can make it big blast or I can go rapid blaps. Almost killed me. Ah, the pulse got me. All right, where was it? Right there? I don't know how they're dealing with this. My shields can't take it. They're fully synthetic, so I don't know. Good, they've stopped firing. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Oh, cool. We get to do this thing again? The lock. Come on. Let's get out of here. Move, 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 move. That was bad. That was close. A little too close. Watch your shield. Stick to cover. Oh, I got him. Ow. They hurt a lot. Not again. Get him. We're not done. Ah, 
blast my shields off. Oh my god, so much going on. Ow! Okay, it didn't let me get back in cover. Thanks for stopping him. Oh, I see him there. Where's the next pulse? Here's how to get up. Anyone else here? No? Any items for me? No? What about over here? Anything? Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm seeing nothing. That was a sequence. Unlock. Are we there yet? Are, are we there yet? This looks like an elevator. Uh, all right, I guess we took the elevator, huh? Ah, uh, still firing. Make it stop. Where are we headed? Oh, don't blow the elevator. We're using this. Why am I standing so close to the edge? Shepard! Grab my hand! Grabbing it. Hang on. Cutting it close, all the time. I thought I'd lost you. You were you not were lost. Worried. You bet I was. You dying because the Geth overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Of course. Yeah, you were worried. Come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. Oh, good medjel, I need that. I spent so much. So is it through here? Why would they put it in the drive core? That's like putting it in the engine. What is that weird like hand flower thing in the middle? That's definitely Reaper tag. But what's There's a get in there. There's a Legion in there! Shepherd Commander, help us. Legion. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. Are you okay? So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. I think we can trust Legion. I'll have to trust Legion. It's Legion. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Right? Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. Oh good. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Do you have to defend it? Oh, we're super Far gonna have to defend room, it. You said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. 
How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. Ah. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. Awesome. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the Reapers to save themselves. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Could they though? The other way was to die. It's hard to argue with a species trying to survive. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. I know you did. Let's just get Legion out of there. All right, no more upgrades to find. Legion, we're getting you out of there. Got it. Tali Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. Get ready to retreat. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Nice. The Robo Boy is back. Still never repaired that hole in the chest, huh? As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Does that mean we're vulnerable? Alert! Death reinforcements incoming! Oh, that's, that's a really cool wipe. Ooh, that's a prime. That is a big boy. Ceiling. Come on, get up. Kaboom. Forward, run. That'll work. Wow, really? Oh, because you're trying. Uh, can you rip its shields off? Thank you. I hit the wrong button. Why are you what not are withdrawing? You about? We're still on board. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet on forward. Are Take you kidding me? Control. We're on here. Hold position. You do that. The heavy fleet gets wiped out. And if we die, simple retreat won't save you from the death response. Damn you, girl. Damn it, what are they doing? Why are they Focus bickering the like idiots? We'll worry about the admirals later. Really? You didn't hit the one floating guy? Oh, is he dead? I flushed. Oh, is that another prime fighting firing at me? Yep. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Uh, 
Drain it. Kick that. Explode harder, please. There we go. Why is this turret still alive and shooting me? Alright, that was dangerous. Luckily, I think I'm fine. Legion. Where'd you go, Legion? You good? Good. All ships open fire. Why are they opening fire on us? Legion, you alright? Shepard Commander, the Creator fleet is firing upon this vessel. So it seems. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Can't transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Oh, right. Suggestions? Gaff fighters are docked in the port side fighter bay. We can power the fighter to safety. Don't you just install yourself on the fighter, though? Do you need to... Oh, jeez. You can pilot? Shepard deflate. Hold fire. I repeat, hold fire. They're not responding. Damn it. Shepard Commander, we have taken control. We'll be right there. Gonna have to slap a fool. Ooh, ow. Didn't make it. Shepard Commander, we can only launch from the upper level. Yeah, I'm making my way up. Let's go! The door! Double time, people! Hurry! We're losing Nice job. No. Fine. We're leaving in a Geth fighter, transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? Sure. We're fine. Go. Oh, it's just a mini version. I don't like the way they look. <laughs> What wings? Can you not fire on us, please? That would be great. Cool, you guys shot at a crippled ship. What heroes? Nice job. Ruining everything for everyone. Fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? Yeah, a little bit. They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrow's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Uh your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. You should. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. No thanks to you. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand. You that. shut up. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect... <clears throat> Admiral... You jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. He deserved it. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. Yeah, and? You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. 
The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. I wouldn't call it too early. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. Yes, he has. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. Him. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. No. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Adler. I'm going to fight every single Legion one of you if I have friend. to. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... Conversation the is over. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Told you you called it too early. Kayla, I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. That sounds promising. The squadrons are targeting creator live ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Who is... Where is that coming from right now? Oh, here. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. Well, that's bad. I could have worn ran in the middle of that? I don't know what was happening there. I don't want to interrupt it. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Legion's on our side. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. That's exactly why you should afford trust. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. That's still enough. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. I hope he did. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. So who's the largest fleet? Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Ah. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But you have more ships in but general. before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. That's... Kind of nuts. Probably want to keep those safer. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the council? I was gonna say. Try and convince someone of that. If otherwise, be, I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Oh. And about... Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. 
It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research ah, vessels. The nerd crew. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Yeah, unfortunately she's crazy. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Alright then, I'll see you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Well, well, that's pulsating. I'll check on that in a second. But, do I have a level up or something? No. Do I have missions? I do. Death Fighter Squadrons, see if Admiral Chorus is alive down there, and Priority Rannoch. We're moving along. So, we'll uh, see if we can help out the Quarians resolve this whole nonsense that they started. And, uh,. Hopefully things go better than they've been going. But in the meantime, I should go.